Down here with team number 3538, I'm here with Noah, Richard, Cameron, and Ashley, and we're gonna learn more about this incredible division winning machine. Of course, winners of the Kiri division this year on Behind the Bumpers with 3538, the Robo Jacket. So, a few things we're gonna talk about on this robot here today. We have an awesome intake mechanism. Uh, they have, I think, a, a very much so standing out uh, climber this year, uh, and they have a cool PTO as well, too. Uh, so let's start out here. What do you want to tell us about on your robot? So today I'll be talking about the uh, PTO, or the power takeoff gearbox. And so if you can see inside of the robot, we have a shifting gearbox at the back, which uh, normally during the match would control our elevator uh, ascent and descent. But at the end of the match, uh, we swap it over and it controls a winching mechanism at the back to pull onto our climber. Of course, a couple other great things as well, too. By the way, this team was number eight on the FRC Top 25 this year, uh, so definitely an incredible machine. Uh, this intake that you guys have here is, is a pretty massive intake, uh, pretty cool mechanisms here for both the hatch and the cargo. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, so um, our main scoring mechanism this year is our end effector. It's a combo hatch and cargo mechanism. Um, so for cargo, we have our big uh, C, uh, nearly full width intake um, that pivots outside of our bumper and frame perimeter. Um, we can um, intake cargo from uh, most uh, parts of the field um, and uh, with the full width of our robot, uh, as well as line up off center. Um, it's really good for uh, intaking at multiple angles um, from the depot and from the human player station. Uh, for hatches, we have our wheelie hatch mech, um, which is on a piston eject, uh, so that's good for picking up from the loader, and we can place that on any level of the rocket, uh, as well as the cargo ship. Um, we have our elastics here which we use for passive centering so that we can um, come in at multiple angles and have adjustability and um, with the driver lineup, which uh, helps uh, placement and um, making things faster in general. Last thing I want to wrap up with here, of course, you guys is a trademark climber here. Uh, we'll show that off a little bit and give us a little bit more description about what's going on. Um, so this year we have a pretty unique climber. So um, at the end of our match, we shift from our elevator to our PTO gearbox. Um, so it drives this axle right here, which winches this down, pulls it out, and it'll come down like so. And we also have a lock on our elevator right here. It's just a piston. It drives this forward. It keeps our elevator from coming up. And we just curl our wrist up in the front, and we can just drive on. So two things I want to follow up and ask you here. First off, how many times do people ask you about this being illegal potentially, like outside of the frame perimeter? Uh, so let's start with that one. Um, we got quite a few questions, but um, we designed it specifically to be right on the edge of our frame perimeter extension. And uh, we actually sent pictures to some people asking. So. Uh, and last thing I want to ask you is I noticed that there's a lot of, uh, let's say, weight reduction duct tape on your robot uh, here this year. So uh, is that just a lot of uh, a lot of wear and tear? Is this a strategic thing you guys have in your robot? Tell me a little bit more about the uh, aesthetic choice here. Well, uh, the duct tape specifically, uh, mo mostly for wire routing, um, to keep the wires out of uh, dangerous areas like our gearboxes or um, areas where the elevator moves up and down. Um, uh, we obviously go with teal as our team color. Um, the Meyer Bayer uh, Bayer shop uh, often runs out of teal duct tape uh, rapidly, but um, yeah, overall we like to stick with the colors. Well, it's worked out pretty well for you guys this year. Obviously, an incredible season here by 3538. Guys, good luck here at IRI and incredible season. Can't wait to see even more from you guys in the future. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.